You might be wondering how to make friends with your future. Well, hello. Hello, hello future. future. You came to the right video. Keep watching. In this video, we're going to show you how to make friends with your future and stop fearing it. And then we'll cover some reasons you might be scared of what could happen in the future. And then we'll go over how to make friends with your future and start getting excited about it. If you're afraid of the future, you're definitely not alone. A lot of people have a hard time thinking about the future. The number one reason that people are scared of the future is this. It is uncertain. The feeling of uncertainty really <sighs> drives people crazy. Yeah. And we totally get why. I mean, not knowing what's going to happen is it's, it's challenging to cope with and it can be pretty scary. Our minds often leap straight into what if mode and start imagining the worst case scenarios, which you know what, that just doesn't help. Well, Christy, we really saw this problem a lot in 2020. There was a lot of uncertainty about what would happen next. And people went crazy with food, uh, you know, using illicit drugs, alcohol, TV, and other escapist behaviors to try to cope. And freaking out about the future is something that most people do at some point. Yeah, well, there are way better ways to handle it than getting overwhelmed by anxiety and resorting to damaging escapist behaviors. One thing you can do to manage anxiety about the future is to control what you can control. Mm -hmm. So when I say control what you can control, I'm talking about you. Yeah. You control you. I mean, no matter where you are or what's happening, there yes. is always something you are saying or you are doing or you are thinking or feeling or believing that you can control. You can decide anytime, anywhere to change what you're saying, doing, thinking, feeling, or believing. And when you focus on controlling yourself instead of what you can't control, like what happens in the future, well, you take your power back. You give yourself the gift of peace and certainty by controlling what you actually can control. And even though the future is uncertain, you have more say in what happens in your future than you think. Controlling what happens in your future starts with controlling what you do in the present. It's true that there will always be parts of the future that you don't have a say so in, but there's more that you have a say in than you think. When you look at the future and when you are looking at the present, having a control in what you're doing now and making choices now gives you so much power. The truth is, Christy, we can't predict the future. We don't know what's going to happen. We are not promised tomorrow. But when you worry about what is going to happen later on, you are simply borrowing trouble. Our mom used to say, don't borrow trouble. And lately, even in the Code Red lifestyle and even in our personal lives, I've had people come up to me and say, Carrie, I got this this idea that we might be this diagnosis, or I heard this terrible thing that might take place. Oh and gosh. I always would say to people, let's wait till we really know, because you don't know until you know. So if somebody says something to you like, well, it might be this, or this might happen, or so-and-so and so-and-so aren't doing very well, they might get divorced. Let's wait until we have more information to make a judgment. And I think sometimes we get so far ahead on that, on that timeline, that we get worried about things that truly aren't even going to come to pass. So focus on your future, focus on the present and what you can do to change now. Wait until you have more information to make judgments. And there are things that you have a say in that are taking place right now. Our rebels always get hung up on this. They yes. always, they still have 47 pounds to lose or 72 pounds to lose or 121 pounds to lose. And they say, well, what ha what's going to happen when I get to maintenance? And what about my loose skin? And how am it's I going to remember? And we just go, oh my gosh, let's just have you get in bed on time tonight. Let's just have you make sure that you finish your bottle of water, which yeah. by the way, you see this really cool bottle of water. You see this really cool bottle. This is our code red hydro flask and you can get it personalized. I'll yes, put it on. Our, I actually <laughs> linked it up below, including the clothes that we're wearing. You can get code red, lots of code red, cool stuff. I'll link it up below. But a lot of people are like, you know, they worry about that. We just say, mm -hmm. my gosh, can you just get through today, Karen? Can you just get through this week? Don't 
borrow trouble. I love that saying. And Christy would say, somebody would say, what if my spouse or the, my partner doesn't like the way I look when I get to goal? You have a hundred pounds to lose. Let's get you to goal. Like don't borrow trouble. Let's wait till we get there and see what it really looks like. Same thing with a diagnosis. Um, you know, you have these things wrong. I see this happen all the time. And people say they, of course, do Google doctor and they come up with 10 things that could be wrong. Well, we don't even have all the information. I never get worried about anything. Don't worry until you have something to worry about. It's just not going to happen. But there are some things that you have a say in that are taking place right now. Christy, what are they? Yeah, you have a say in how well you age how quickly you age and how many diseases that you have when you age. Absolutely. I mean, you influence all of that by making healthy choices for yourself right now. Like the choice to eat real food instead of sugar soaked processed Franken food, food that looks like real food, but is not real food. Mm -hmm. The choice to drink water like Christy instead of soda or energy drinks. Yeah, how about the choice to get plenty of sleep every single night instead of staying up all night on your stinking devices? I mean, removing that uncertainty about the future starts with what you do in your now. Before we go to our next point, love to hear from you. I always read your comments. I try to reply to every single one and comment below and tell us, are you scared about the future? Does this make you nervous? How are you feeling even watching this video? Comment below, tell us what you think. It's also about how you go from being scared of the future to being excited about it. Yeah, when you make good choices for yourself in the now, you create a future that you can be excited about. Instead of expecting the worst to happen, I think it's time to start expecting the best to happen. Mm -hmm. If you expect something enough times, well, you're going to get it. Self-fulfilling so, prophecy. Yes. That's what they call it. That's right. <laughs> so why not start expecting what you want instead of expecting what you don't want? You can be prudent and responsible and still look forward to the best instead of fearing the worst. I don't know how people live like this. No, I don't. We either. don't have a problem with this. We don't have this, but maybe because we love Jesus and we know that if we... You know, we know what our future holds as far as what it is in the afterlife or what it is beyond this life. I don't know. I don't know if that's why or we just not, we're not fearful people that mm -hmm. struggle with, with borrowing trouble and worry about something that we can't control. People worry about worry. They worry about worry? They do. They worry about the fact that they're going to be anxious about this. Now, I hate to fly. And sometimes I get to thinking about the flight and I will get worried about what my reaction is going oh. to be on the flight. It's ridiculous. It is worrying in triplicate. It makes absolutely no sense. And fearing the worst is not all it's cracked up to be. All worrying about what you can't control, it all it does, Christy, is just make you miserable. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't add anything to your life. Let's be honest here. It doesn't make the situation better at all. I mean, it's just gonna make things worse. Thoughts become things, as the saying goes, and it makes no sense to think about what you don't want, yet that's what people do. Oh, all the time. Anxiety and worry is a huge problem in our society. And you can soothe your fears about the future by focusing on what you can control. That's truly the only power we have in this life is what, how you choose to react. That's the only power we have. And you can only control you. One of the most powerful ways I've seen or experienced to focus on what you can control is to take control of your health. I know a lot of uh, modern medicine makes it sound like you have no say. I've heard a lot of people, Christy, in my nursing career say something like, well, my mama got diabetes, my auntie got diabetes, I'm gonna get diabetes. Mm. But the truth is you do have a say and you have control over what happens in your health way more than you think. Yeah, way more than you think. And you know, we've helped tens of thousands of people from all over the world take their life back from obesity and disease. I can understand how someone would be fearful about the future if they are not healthy. Cause if they've already had one cardiac episode, they already have an A1C that's running like, you know, like oh, above 5.7 really is really uh, going to be a problem. They, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know, if they have, if they already have metabolic syndrome, they already have mel they're already metabolically broken and they are taking loads of medication. I mean, I can understand how they'd be like, yo, I don't know how much longer I'm going to live. And this is a problem that we, that, that we see in our lifestyle. So if this is the problem with you and you are sick and tired of being sick and tired and you want to feel excited about your future, but you can't because you're so sick, then definitely a 10 pound takedown is the best place 
to start because you can lose 10 pounds in 30 days. That's, that's, that's even far down the list of things that are going to happen to you when you take your life back. If you wake up in the morning and you start singing, I'm so sick and tired of waking up so, so sick, sick and tired. tired. <laughs> if that is you, you can join us on the 10 pound takedown challenge. You can lose 10 pounds in 30 days, days and feel better than you have in years or even decades. You oh, 10 pound takedown.com. I've got it linked up below. Check us out. I'm telling you, you won't regret that. And I'll see you on the next video. For a second. Okay. I'm having to manually scroll this. It just won't keep up. And even though, let me give him more time. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. Let me do it. Let me get my, my smile off my face. So when you look at the future and when you look at the present, mm -mm, hold on. I just had it. They worry about worry. They worry about anxious. They worry oh about, gosh. they worry about the fact that they're going to worry about it. Sorry. Read the sentence. And, I said, some people worry about worry. <laughs> don't, don't say I said. 10poundtakedown.com. I've got it linked up. Uh, I've got it linked up. <laughs> kind of rough, but we got it. I'm so sick of that.